वेलकम टू न्यूज लॉन्ड्री छोटा हफ्ता फॉर द फुल एपिसोड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट इज बिहाइंड द पे वॉल एंड ओनली सब्सक्राइबर्स गेट एक्सेस टू अनकट कंप्लीट कॉन्टेंट न्यूज लॉन्ड्री हफ्ता इज आ वीकली रैप of all that made the news all that didn't and all that should have and all that shouldn't have we agree we disagree we critique and occasionally we beat each other up but it's all good fun subscribe this is a news laundry podcast and you're listening to nl hafta अंग्रेज अपना लगान और न्यूज लॉन्ड्री अपना हफ्ता कभी नहीं छोड़ते वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ हफ्ता वी रिकॉर्डिंग दिस ऑन 19th of january at 3 pm on a thursday before we get into the panel discussion and headlines can i please request you to subscribe to news laundry and contribute to the nl sena project we have a wonderful partner in journalism ridesh joshi in joshi math uh, so please do check out the reports he's already submitted and contribute to the nl sena project the link is in the show notes below and you can also see the reports as part of the sena project so before i introduce the panel manisha what are the headlines we haven't even completed a month of 2023 and everyone's already talking about 2024 general elections major headlines this week have been around various permutation and combinations of 2024 elections the bjp held its national executive meeting on jan 16th and 17th with all its major leaders in the capital city meanwhile the bharat jodo yatra has reached jnk and in a show of strength several prominent opposition leaders attended a rally organized by telangana chief minister k chandrashekhar rao Uh, this included your know, Punjab CM, Delhi CM, the Kerala CM, uh, D Raja. Absent. Yeah, Nitish, Nitish was, absent. was absent. Mamta was absent. Mamta was absent. Stalin was absent. Uh, leaders from the stage called for the ouster of BJP in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Uh, meanwhile, assembly elections for Tripura, Nagaland, and Meghalaya have been announced. Tripura goes to polls on February 16th. Meghalaya and Nagaland on February 27th. Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju wrote to Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur suggesting the inclusion of a government nominee in the process of making appointees to the higher judiciary. Opposition parties on Monday alleged that the center was trying to capture the judiciary. Congress leader Jairam Ramesh said that development is an orchestrated confrontation with the judiciary to intimidate it. The National Disaster Management Authority on Friday directed all departments and organizations associated with survey and data collection in Joshima to not interact with the media or share any data on social media. This comes after an ISRO report that said that Joshima sank by 5.3 centimeters in 12 days. Yeah, in two weeks, 14 so ba- days. Yeah, basically there's a gag order that yeah. don't talk to the media. Panic, don't do it. People, go. Whether it's ground pay, panic, <laughs> worse than panic situation. Hai. An Oxfam report has said that the richest 1% of India's population own more than 40.5% of the country's total wealth and mm-hmm. it also said that we are about 166 billionaires in 2022. Mm. And this report usually coincides with the Davos and uh, it did this time in fact yeah because but in all fairness um NDTV carried an interview with uh, I think the worldwide head of Oxfam but someone high up in Oxfam at Davos I think Vishnu was in conversation with her and this report the pti version of it named adani but i didn't see her interview on any other channel <laughs> <laughs> websites operating in india will have to ensure that any content identified as fake by agencies authorized by the central government shall not be allowed on platforms on their platforms will be pulled down basically mm. the union information technology ministry has proposed this as an amendment to the information technology rules the editors guild has protested against this in a uh, statement they've issued they've said that the proposal to remove any content termed fake by government will muzzle free press delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal led a march to lg vinay kumar saxena's home to protest against his interference in the working of the aam aadmi party government in the national capital addressing the delhi assembly the aam aadmi party chief said that saxena told him that bjp would not have won 20 municipal corporation uh, seats without the lg's help <laughs> and of course uh, kejriwal also made a really impassioned speech in assembly kahan hai lg kon hai lg begani shaadi mein abdullah diwana ye lg kahan se aa gaya kon hai lg kahan se aa gaya lg kis baat ka lg kon hai lg kon lieutenant governor hamare sar pe baith gaya ke lieutenant governor India's top wrestlers have accused Wrestling Federation of India president Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh and other coaches of sexually harassing women wrestlers there at Jantar Mantar as we record this show we've had our reporters also cover this so you can check out 
those reports and we will dis- be discussing this with a sports journalist later yeah. in this podcast bad times ahead with dire predictions on unemployment the international labor organization projected global unemployment to increase by 30 lakh to 20.8 crore in 2023 pushing joblessness rate to 5.8% mm bad times coming former afghan mp mursal nabizada and her bodyguard was shot dead on sunday in her home in kabul She is among the few female lawmakers who had stayed in Afghanistan after the Taliban took control of the country in 2021. Actually, a good story would be where the leadership of Afghanistan at time who cowardly fled, fled mm-hmm. where they are right now. My It's God, good imagine, yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif on Monday called for serious and sincere talks with Indian counterpart Narendra Modi. He also said that we should be discussing Kashmir seriously. Yeah, but let's see how long he stays Prime Minister, then we'll talk. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I heard the sex tape finally after your recommendation. It wasn't a recommendation. I was just you said you haven't heard. Must hear. Go to YouTube. I heard it. <laughs> oh, it seems very fake. Some of it seems very fake. Okay. China's population declined in twenty twenty two for the first time in over sixty years. Sixty eight persons died after a Yeti Airlines aircraft crashed in Nepal's Pokhara city on Sunday. Uh, it's a very tragic case, and I think there were five Indians. Yeah, on board. I think four or five Indians. And the uh, this plane was earlier owned by Kingfisher Airlines, and I didn't know that uh, EU doesn't allow uh, Nep- Nepalese airlines to enter its airspace. Oh, I mean they are considered like low on on safety. And the most sensational news of the week: they just see Surya lightly, slightly by mistake <laughs> open the exit door. Maybe, of- maybe not. We don't know if it was him <laughs> or not. The exit door of an Indigo aircraft. He's apologized, and that's yeah. It. But today, the BJP <laughs> chief of I think Tamil Nadu or maybe Karnataka says that it wasn't him. Ah. Oh. But J- Jyothi Ramesh Sindhya yesterday said it was him. Yeah. So we really don't know what the hell is happening. Hari. <laughs> uh, but let's introduce the panels to you before we get into the discussion. Today in the studio, we have Raman Kripal. Hi. Manisha Pandey. Hello. Joining us on the phone line is Nirja Chaudhary. Hi, Nirja. Hi. Nirja is a journalist who I'm sure most of you have either seen on panels or read her columns and her pieces. Uh, she's a political commentator and she has more than three decades of experience. Uh, she's also contributing editor and, and for the Indian Express, and she will often see her uh, giving analysis during elections on various panels. And Nirja right now joins us from Gurgaon, right? That's right. All right. Broadly, the picture that ordinary people give you is that the contest in Telangana, where elections are due this winter, is going to be essentially between TRS or, or now BRS, Bharat Rashtriya Samiti, and the BJP. The hmm. BJP is the newbie. Last time, it got only three seats, and TRS said one with. Hundred and three, so there's a huge gap. But the point is that the Congress has got totally squeezed out. Nobody even talks about the Congress. So I think it is to strengthen his fight in Telangana to rest the state again for his party. Then you know he would have national ambitions. But I think it's more the regional. a uh, factor so all these other chief uh, ministers are happy using. the other chief ministers are happy being props in his domestic game yeah so uh, that's right uh, i think uh, that is absolutely right actually i don't think i think there would be an understanding because even with state elections every time what happens is that these cms also have to get into this contest with pm modi which is just so unfair so maybe it's like a thing that they get that okay there's a contest between you and modi we'll come and we'll do this show of strength thing for you here we'll You know, so so that you can of, do it for us there. Yeah, and you but, do it for us in state elections. But I, I don't but see. But that makes K- quite a lot of sense. That mm-hmm. this but I don't was see for KC, I don't see KCR getting any <laughs> in, votes of Bhagwan Man in Punjab. <laughs> but but why? But why do you think Mamta uh, and Stalin stayed away? I I know Stalin at least was invited. I don't know about Mamta. Uh, sorry, Amarisha, you were going to say. No, something. I was just saying that Mamta was probably busy in Tripura, so she decided not to go. No, sorry, not in Tripura, in Meghalaya. Hmm. And Mamta also regards herself as the, you know, uh, a candidate for the future, uh, the leader of the entire opposition. Mm. Uh, and certainly Stalin would stay away uh, because of uh, and Tejasvi Yadav. He may have been invited. They would stay away because they have an alliance with the Congress. They would not want to annoy the Congress. That would also apply to the Shiv Sena, to the NCP. Mm. Now this, you know, I think this is very unthought through what KCR has done. 
even though it creates a certain kind of, uh, you know, it's a beginning. And uh, the crowd at Khammam was, uh, they were uh, responding only to him when the others spoke from all accounts. Uh, they were not, they, they didn't even know what it was all about. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Are you speaking in Hindi? Yeah, okay. they were probably here. Bhagwan to probably was speaking in Punjabi. So I don't see, they probably won't understand what is happening. Who's going to do a contempt against the governor? Mm. Even if the governor doesn't follow that. No, no, the court judgment had very clearly said that accepting two, three things. Mm. One is land, police, and the third is Delhi Cantonment area or NDMC. You know, uh, the governor has to act according to aid and advice of this. Uh, after that, the central government has brought in some changes into the LG Act or whatever, or mm. Delhi mm. Act. Right. So they brought in some changes and they have given more power to Lieutenant Governor. Okay, so now now I think uh, this is what Solicitor General must have raised that the, the certain changes have been brought in. And this Delhi being the capital hmm. city and Delhi it's being the city so of, yeah. uh, you know, it houses Prime Minister, it houses President. So we need uh, a larger role of, uh, you know, Lieutenant Governor. So I think that's the argument that they are giving in the court. But let us see. And uh, very rightly, I mean, if... If you, uh, if in the name of security and all, if you just reduce the government uh, to the elected government, ah, to nothing, I mean they have no role at all. I think it finally he can't even boil, move his peer. Hmm. Will it finally boil down to the statehood question? Because I don't see a resolution to this till once and for all you decide. What is the state of BJP Delhi? had been because promising statehood for a very long time, but now they have uh, more or less dropped the idea because, because they can't they're not winning the state. Uh. That's why. Nirja, where do you see this heading? Is there a resolution or is this how it's going to be? I think uh, it, less about legality because those things uh, were settled by the High Court. And uh, very clearly these three areas were, uh, which come under the LG, the rest with the government. And I think Kejriwal has asked a pertinent question. If we don't have any powers, why have an elected government? Yes. Mm. I mean, that is to a lay person. But mm. it, as I was saying, it is less to do with legality and more to do with politics. Mm. The fact that our Admi Party is sitting there, they won't take things lying down. They've got the better of BJP. In, uh, in the assembly, in the municipal corporation. So I think this will continue unless the court now settles it very decisively. There was a headline of sources uh, saying that Modi told his leaders that they must reach out to Muslims, Pasmanda Muslims, educated Muslims, forward-looking Muslims without the expectation of votes in return. So that was one interesting headline that came out of it. What do you make, Nirja, of this uh, Muslim push? From time to time, we hear these headlines of, you know, someone in the BJP. I think even with... The RSS Yogi, also. Yeah, making these noises that we must reach out to Muslims. What do, you, what do you make of it and how earnest do you think that is? I think uh, they are trying to appear to be more inclusive. And since it's, uh, the, they virtually saturated in 2019 in North Indian states, they will have to make forays in the East and the South to counter anti-incumbency and to compensate for the loss of seats in the North. So they will have to reach out to uh, newer uh, communities, which they've been doing already. And I think that this thing of, there is another reason I feel, since uh, India is uh, the head of uh, G20 and we are going to be hosting the summit on 9th and 10th of September, Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big thing. I think one of the things that the Prime Minister is going to pitch for this year is India, the Vishwa Guru. And, you know, world leaders are going to come. So I think in the next nine, ten months, we can expect probably less toxicity and much more of, you know, reaching out and notes of inclusion to be struck. But because of this person, he was adamant to bring a goal. Then we, we remember counting his cases. There were about 28, 29 murder cases, alleged murder cases registered against him. But, you know, again, uh, then I did a story. He confronted me. The first time I landed in Rio, I went to a wrestling uh, arena. So I was confronted by his goons, or apparently his, his supporters there. They were distributing ghevar to everybody. So they asked me, uh, ghevar? So I said, sir, I want to talk to you first. He started confronting. You have written this page, you have written one page. I said, what happened? Because apparently what happened in between the flight, I met a case, case is that uh, uh, International Federation for Doping, hmm. who, who, fought, 
who uh, fought for the you know the, the athletes and against the federations so a canadian lawyer i met lady which was finally going to argue the this case and she told me that you know this is your your federation is foolish how can they say that you know nursing is uh, you know could, could be replaced or or uh, sushil was uh, you know innocent and all that she gave me some reasons uh, and she said your this category will be vacant there will be no show so i wrote exactly that and it was a page one flyer in dn so they started confronted or ye fourth ko tha so i met him on the fifth fifth ko mujhe gali diya usne and then on 17 there was a vein jab wait hota sab wrestlers ka to us din ye pata chalna tha kya india ko representation milega ya nahi i wrote ke nahi milega it will be a vacant you know uh, and india is going to lose 17 ko exactly same thing happened so, then I so, the, so no so there was no entry from india in that weight category no entry in that weight category we lost a medal and then after few days 21st ko shayad 21st august ko shayad ye hamari fight thi usse pehle hi ya uske aas paas mein sachi malik ka she won a bronze that was the first medal for india and we were also enthusiastic ke kuch hona aaj bada hoga and she came to you know meet all of us hum jitne journalists the aur bridge bhushan ne kya usko jhadna shuru kar diya तुम कैसे बात कर रही हो मैं कर तुम जाओ वहां पर रिलैक्स करो ओह सो ही डिड नॉट हर्ड टू स्पीक टू द प्रेस ही विल स्पीक टू द प्रेस ऑब्वियसली ये हैरेसमेंट वाली दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ छोटी है बट इन फैक्ट दिस इज इन फैक्ट दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग दैट दे लेज जस्टडे आल्सो व्हेन दे वर टॉकिंग टू द प्रेस दे सेड दैट दे जस्ट पुश देमसेल्व्स वी आर नॉट अलाउड टू स्पीक टू एनीवन व्हेदर इट्स द प्रेस disgusting disgusting it, it, it really and is she was especially because these guys you know first medal for india and she was not allowed to speak to us then we all obviously humne thoda shor machaya later on she came and uh, or woh bechari ki shakal utri instead of feeling you know, happy yeah they just demotivated her she couldn't enjoy her moment <laughs> in the sun and this has been going on for at least 6 to 7 years if not less and to, so 6 and 7 cc as is a big thing and and uh, you know holding camps in delhi or uh, you know uh, mumbai makes lot of sense because lot of media coverage is there for wrestlers or for other athletes if the camps are going on you know in these cities or in hyderabad or in chennai but lucknow nobody covers nobody gives you you know that kind of attention so so these wrestlers used to also say you know ke kahan mein dump kar diya yaar is gaon mein ya yahan koi baat nahi kar raha and even if some hindi paper takes on you know uh, takes their uh, some uh, interviews you know, nobody cares for that also his so constituency is his constituency is kaisarganj kaisarganj is close to lucknow so right to wo unko suit karta hai wahan pe dara dhamka karke you cannot go against him aur ye to kuch bhi nahi hai matlab ki forget about wrestlers mujhe nahi lagta journalist ki bhi itni himmat hai usko confront kare kisi mein himmat nahi ki himmat in the sense gudde log hain kaise aap karoge right so um i was watching the live coverage clearly this has become big enough an event that similar to the jantar mantar protests in the days when it was still quite risk Today free to do it they called all the supporters so there other people have landed up yeah. other wrestlers have landed up there are ah. people sitting on mattresses etc mm-hmm. but i did see Su- sudhanshu bjp ka what's his name mittal, mittal yes sudhanshu mittal sudhanshu and mittal um, coming to the defense of mr bridge saying that <laughs> show us the evidence and you know typical what what today it would be very hard for anyone to make such kind of counter allegations from the victims or the survivors uh, but he was I and i just like to compare this to when simone biles uh, i think that's how you pronounce her name the gymnast oh yeah uh, uh, and by the way i highly recommend her book which is a compelling yeah. read when that okay. scandal broke it became such a huge issue uh but yeah let's see if if this guy cuz right now he's digging his heels in and like you know chandrashekar said that he's clearly a heavyweight because he hasn't budged so far pata nahi by the time we finish the recording no, what's happened the party didn't ask him to even uh, resign from the federation he which is leading for the past 12 years right no, no right. why would he why would he resign so i guess they do have it if <laughs> but i think in such a serious case of sexual uh, allegations of sexual harassment the first thing has to be suspension 
एंड देन यू प्रोब दी एलिगेशन जस्ट द बेयर मिनिमम सो द 72 आवर्स इज किसी और के अंडर हो तो अभी तक अरेस्ट होता एंड द स्केल द स्केल ऑफ इट्स द एलिगेशन इट्स नॉट जस्ट वन और टू पीपल इट्स लाइक द टॉप रेस्टर्स ऑफ द सो देन चैंपियन ट्वाइस वर्ल्ड चैंपियन इन्वेस्टिगेट ऑफ कोर्स व्हाट द यू नो व्हाट द चार्जेस आर बट सस्पेंशन एट द वेरी मिनिमम एंड देन लुक इन टू द चार्जेस या एंड देन लुक इन टू द सीरियसनेस ऑफ द एलिगेशंस एंड हाउ True or false? Yeah. Anand, have you? Did you by any chance come by Jantar Mantar? Is that why you're out of breath? No. So, so what is your take on this whole thing? I think uh, these kind of problems uh, are very endemic in sports federations in in, uh, in India, and uh, wrestling in India is uh, uh, also uh, there is also a conspiracy of silence because it's more of a way of life. So the reverence, like if you were a if you were a senior wrestler you are no more called by your name but you are pehlwan ji ha ah, so, guru de uh, so yeah so uh, the hierarchy of reverence is uh, such that uh, the conspiracy of silence is a natural by product of it that and uh, also uh, i think uh, far more important than other wrestlers of course they are also important was the presence of bajrang punia in that protest because uh, generally uh, chandshekhar might be knowing uh, jonathan selvraj who covers uh, the um, this kind of sports means which are not very popular but uh, which have their own fan following in india uh, he covers it for espn and uh, he has been writing that there is a, 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 and he has also told me many times that there is a also uh, this uh, politics within wrestlers of uh, like punia is said to be of a different camp than sushil kumar or the other jat wrestlers fogat is of course of that uh, and punia joining them uh, punia is perhaps uh, the tallest uh, uh, in stature in india and he also joined that he is of course married to one of fogat sisters perhaps sangeeta fogat so it's the coming together of factions who normally would stand together yes 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 so that is also quite significant and uh, uh, that also shows that uh, the fault lines have been breached to an extent that uh, this has been the uh, anguish has been expressed and uh, now the pol- political loyalty thing i think it now it, it has reached a critical mass where um, supporting uh, mr sharan singh would be a political liability there is a time when your political assets turn into liability and mm. now that critical mass has been reached mm. where he will turn into a liability so uh, whoever his political masters are they may try to distance themselves from him all of you listening in the chota hafta do subscribe so you can listen to the entire hafta we will see you again next week with the hafta till then subscribe pay to keep news free because when the public pays the public is served and advertisers pay advertisers are served thank you Goodbye. All the News Laundry podcasts are available on Stitcher, iTunes and any other podcast platform. Please subscribe to News Laundry. Help us keep news independent. To catch all our podcasts on news, pop culture, current affairs and sport, visit newslaundry.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sun liya Afrika, mufat khoron, not to brag or anything, but News Laundry hafta features in the top 50 in the world on SoundCloud in the news and politics category for podcasts so do subscribe and see what you're missing because when the public pays the public is served when advertisers pay advertisers are served subscribe help keep news independent and free all news laundry podcasts are available on iTunes and Stitcher and any other podcast platform